What's going on everyone? I'm going to be uploading this video today, creating online my NBA or my online league fantasy draft. The reason I'm uploading this is because of a couple of reasons. The first reason being that a few people have been asking me how do you create an online my league? What settings do I use? So I'm going to put this video out there so you can see. The second reason I'm uploading this video is to showcase that it's not a rigged draft <laughs> or anything because you know sometimes people are assuming that whoever is creating the league is going to uh, put themselves at a top pick because when you create an online league you're able to pick you know you could pick who picks first who picks second who picks third etc you could um, basically pick who goes first <laughs> I don't explain but you could uh, basically choose which teams draft at which position but in this video, I'm going to show you guys that I'm not going to do that. It's going to be completely random. And I'm going to show you from, uh, from start to finish all the settings that we use for our online league. And the third reason that we are, or should I say, I'm uploading these videos is because we're actually recruiting for our league. We have a couple of open spots. Um, so if you want to join, drop a comment on this video. I will send you a link to our Discord chat. There's some rules, other things that we have to follow. So before I, I want to share those things in this video actually before... Actually before I share that, I want to show you guys this part. So our league is 26 teams, it's not 30, it's been 26 for the longest of times. So what we do is we remove one team, I mean sorry, two teams from each conference. So on the western side, uh, I decided to take out, take out the Kings and I'm going to take out the Spurs as the second team. And then on the east, I think I'm going to remove... I forgot which teams I removed. I made this earlier. I decided to remove the Pacers and the Wizards. You know, you have to remove one from each uh, each division just to make everything equal. So I removed one, which was the Pacers, and I removed the second one, which was the Wizards. And these teams that I removed, not many people want to pick them, so that's why I removed them. I usually keep the popular teams that most people want to, want to use. So those four teams usually are not that popular, so that's why I decided to remove those four teams so here are the settings the juicy part uh, our league is going to be seven minutes per quarter it's hall of fame difficulty it's going to be 82 game season and here is the draft setup you see the draft order i put it off if i put it on that basically means i could decide which pick i'm going to be so that's kind of rigging the draft and we don't want that to happen so i left it at off so you can see that it's going to be completely random and for the draft pool we're going to put all the nba teams because if you leave it at default and you remove some teams, the players on those teams that you remove are not going to be on the draft. So for example, I removed the Pacers. If I left it at default, Tyrese Halliburton and Miles Turner, for example, wouldn't be in the draft and you don't want that to happen. So you have to change it to all NBA teams. And right here for injuries, I always leave it off and I put this to zero just to be safe. But 2K Online League is glitched. Injuries still happen in the game. Even if you turn it off, it kind of sucks, but you know, 2K is not perfect, unfortunately. So injuries still happen in the league, if you, even if you turn it off. I'm not sure when they'll ever fix this, but <laughs> it's been it's a glitch that's been going on for a while. So like I mentioned, we're also recruiting for our league. Uh, it's Hall of Fame difficulty, 7-minute quarters. Uh, the league requirement is you have to play at least 6 games a week. It has to stay active. And if you're not able to play 6 games a week, you know, you can always let the admins know. You can let me know. And, you know, because we understand life happens. So if you're unable to play a certain amount of games for, you know, let's say week one or week two, just let us know. We'll give you more time. You know, we're all humans at the end of the day. 2K is just a video game. So we understand that it's not everyone's priority to play league games. So like I said, if you need more time to play the games, just let us know and we will adjust accordingly. And here are the final settings. Power rankings, trade deadline, doesn't really matter because I we turned off trade deadline. You could trade all season long. And here are just the timers. The timers don't really matter. It's just really annoying. It's gonna keep popping up during the during the menu. So we always put it two weeks, four weeks, five weeks, just so that it doesn't spam the screen. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna spam your screen with uh, timers and it's really, really annoying when you're navigating the league menus. So yeah, that's about it. I um, just wanted to show you guys the video of me creating this league. So this will be our fifth season of NBA 2K23. The videos that I've been posting this past week was for season four. And don't get me wrong, we ha I have more videos to post for that season. 
It's just that we like to have two seasons going on at once, especially since season 4 is already done actually. So I'll be uploading the rest of the gameplays for season 4. And for the draft for this season, which is season 5, I'll be streaming it tomorrow, Friday. I forgot to mention the draft will be Friday, which is tomorrow at 7.30pm Eastern. So that's going to be our draft day and draft time, and that's also when I'm going to start streaming the draft tomorrow. And you're going to see, I'm going to pick the Hornets for this season. I've always wanted to try being the Hornets. I love their jerseys, I love their court, and it's also a small market team. It's always fun trying to bring a championship to a small market team, which is why I decided to go with the Hornets for season number 5. Alright, so that's about it. Here we don't change anything, we're just going to press start to continue. So like I mentioned, if you want to join the league, we have a couple of spots open. Drop a comment, and don't forget, it's a commitment. You gotta play 6 games a week. If you can, just let us know. Drop a comment.